We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're no, no, we're not gonna make it. Oh! <laughs> What is up, people? Van from Vaniverse Gaming Channel here with another Van's Guide on Conan Exiles. In today's video, we're going to cover climbing. Climbing is a really important part of Conan Exiles. You can pretty much climb anything, and I truly like climbing. I feel like it adds a whole nother level to the game. One of the most fun parts of the game for me is to climb into people's bases and find things that, you know, you wouldn't be able to do if you couldn't climb up. And it also adds a dynamic to the game where since you can build anywhere, you can make it to where you can pretty much get to somebody's base if they build way up high on a mountain. So in this video, we are going to cover several things. We're going to show you what helps or hinders the distance you can climb. We're going to show you where to go learn the skill mountaineering that gives you the ability to make climbing boots and gloves to help with climbing. We are going to show you some of my tips and tricks to climbing, um, things like camera angle, how to release and grab on real quick, just a couple little tips that will help you in the long run. And then lastly, we're going to give you some tips on some anti-climbing stuff you can do to try and prevent people from climbing up and into onto your base. So let's get started here. Uh, yeah, so climbing, let's talk about it. So it says right in the bottom right-hand corner, if you hold the space bar, you will climb, but that's not really the case. If you hold the space bar, you jump. So you can just jump like an idiot. All right, now, so right there, you can see if I'm holding it, not good. But if I hold my forward movement key in space bar, voila, Spider-Man. All right, now, what helps me or prevents me from climbing? So when I climb, I run out of stamina, right? The things that prevent the height on which I can climb are as follows. Number one, encumbrance. If you are over encumbered, you can't climb. Well, you can, just not as far. So it's just like if you're, if you're over encumbered, you can't sprint. So if you're over encumbered, the height you would normally be able to climb is now diminished because of how much weight you have on you. The second factor that affects your climbing is your armor weight. So you can see right now my armor weight is light because I don't have any armor on. If I was wearing light armor, my armor weight would be light, heavy, and medium. If I am in light, I can climb higher than if my armor weight was medium, and then I can climb higher than if my armor weight was heavy in medium, etc., etc. So that is the second factor is what armor you're wearing. The third factor is your grit. So grit makes sense. You lose stamina as you climb. So the more grit pull you have, the higher you can climb. So on top of that, your grip, the strong grip, this first perk, gives you a 10% less stamina consumption when climbing. So it reduces the amount of stamina used by 10% as well. So grit is pretty much in everyone's build. If you don't have grit in your build, you're silly in Conan. Um, so it's just a very important part of the game unless you're farming or something. And then the fourth thing is to have a set of climbing gloves and climbing boots. So these don't increase the distance you can, you can climb, they increase the speed at which you climb. So since you're climbing faster, you can actually get to higher distances. So those are the four factors that really help determine how high you can climb. So I'm gonna give you guys some numbers. They're actually gonna be down below in the description. I'll write out kind of the differences in the armor and what numbers you can do. But just to kind of set the benchmark, if I am in light armor weight and I am not encumbered, I can climb eight foundations. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right there. So I use foundations because they're very measurable. So eight foundations. However, if I'm in medium, I can only go four, half the distance. And if I'm in heavy, I can only go three. Now, if I'm encumbered and I'm in light, I, instead of going eight, I can only go six. It reduces my height by two because I'm over encumbered. With medium, it's by one. So instead of four, I can go three. And instead of with heavy, instead of three, I can go two. So you can kind of get an idea that if eight is the best, it's about one to two less if you are encumbered. And then if you're also each type of armor you wear almost cuts it in half again. So I'll put the numbers below. The next thing is, all right, so I'm not encumbered and I put points into stamina. For every 10 points in stamina, you can get about an additional three foundations high. So if you could normally climb eight foundations in light armor, you would now be able to climb 11. And so, again, I'll put the numbers below. So that's kind of how that works. So if you have 50 points in stamina 
and you have light armor and you're not encumbered, you will be able to climb about 21, I'd say about 21 foundations high. So almost three times as far as if you didn't have any points in stamina. So there's a huge difference in that, right? Now let's add in the climbing gloves. So if you put on a set of climbing gloves and boots and you have 50 stamina, and you're in light armor, you'll be able to climb 43 foundations, which is right up there. That's 43. So let me, let me, right there. Way up there is 43 foundations. So you can see how people need to come up with some ways to prevent climbing because that's how high you can climb if you have all the right stuff in the right places. Now granted, most people aren't running around with 50 stamina and climbing gloves everywhere they go, but you get the point. So now, the second part of this video I want to talk about is where you can learn the climbing gloves and where you get them. They do drop out of chests, but like anything you get out of chests, their durability is going to be very little, so they might break even when you start using them and try and climb. However, if you come to this wonderful looking place called Finger Fang Rock, I like to call it Finger Bang Rock, I don't know why, it just sounds better, there's a little dude who hangs out up there, he's a mountaineer, and he's just waiting for you to come talk to him. So on your map, this is what it looks like. I kind of died right here, so this is a really good location for you, because that's where I died. But he's right here, and if I zoom out, right here is the unnamed city, there's a bunch of rock formations, he's right here, okay? And this is the little water thing, that the oasis where you learn the uh, Mitra Trainer, so right in between there, pretty easy. Now, I am not going to show you how to climb up, because that ruins the fun of it, but I will tell you that if you are going to make the climb, there's a couple things you're going to bring, and then I'll show you what the guy looks like. So we're going to ghost up here. So if you're going to make the climb, there's one thing about climbing. You notice that my food and drink, or maybe you haven't, has not changed. I'm hot right now, and my food and drink is staying the same. It's because I have a little thing to prevent me from losing food and drink. However, if you are climbing, you drink water like a fiend. So make sure if you're going to start doing any climbs like this finger bang rock climb, Make sure you have at least one or two full water skins on you so that you can stay hydrated, especially if you're going to be hot the whole time. If you have light armor on, you shouldn't be hot. It's just because I'm naked in the desert. So, in any event. The other thing I will tell you is that to make this climb easier, to get up to this mountaineer, make sure you have about 20 stamina, 20 grit. 20 grit is going to get you up here, probably the easiest. You could probably do it with 10. Just make sure you're wearing light armor, not encumbered, and 20 grit will be easy, 10 you can do it, it's just a little bit harder. And if you have no grit, you can do it, it's just really hard. So here you go, this is what the guy looks like, he's just chilling up here, he's got his little fireplace. You talk to him, learn a religion of mountaineering, and then you get it. But, I th think they, I saw a note that says in the new patch, um, the new test live, it's just gonna say mountaineering, because it's not a religion, it's obviously, mount well, to some people mountaineering might be a religion. So once you go to your feats, you go to your search here. Here it is, Mountaineering, green, and you can make them. You just need to be level 10, and you need to have a armor bench. That's it. Easy peasy, right there. So that's how you get and learn. I hope you guys enjoy the climb. I'd love to hear in your comments how easy it was, what you guys did to get up there, if you fell and splatted at any time, any of that kind of stuff. So now let's move to the next part of the video, and that's talking about some just tips and tricks when you're climbing. It sounds like it's a very easy thing, but it's not as easy as it sounds. Like there's actual tips and tricks you need to learn for climbing, like how to fall gracefully. So right there, you can see I just fell and I was able to cling on the wall very simply. So people have asked me in my videos, how do I do this, this right here? Fall, catch, fall, catch. How do I do that? So very simply, it says in the bottom right to release from climbing by using your C, C button, right? These are all standard key bindings on a PC. I use shift. If you try and sprint, if you use your sprint button, you actually stop climbing. And then I have my forward arrow movement key and I have my space bar. So basically I hold shift with my pinky and then I hold down my forward movement key and I hit my space bar and I reattach. So hit shift once and then forward space bar, shift, forward space bar, shift, forward space bar. So you can see how quickly, since I have my pinky on my sprint, I have my middle finger on my forward, and I have my thumb on my space bar, I can very quickly do this and I don't have to hit C. So that's a little tri trick for y'all on how to climb down extremely fast. Another thing to show you guys is you can actually steer while in midair. So you can jump out and then move back in so you can hit your 
S or your backward movement key to kind of get out from the rock ledge. And depending on how far you're falling, you can then steer back towards the rock ledge so that you can make sure. So just make sure you have enough distance and then you can get to the bottom just like that. So that's how you can scale down a rock with pretty much some, some ease, I would say. Now I wanna show you a couple tips on climbing and some of the things that you wanna be, be careful of and some of the things you wanna know. So camera angle pay, plays a lot of part in your climbing ability. So when I'm climbing, my camera angle is down, it's underneath me. When you get to like an edge where you're gonna have to pull yourself up, depending on how big the edge is, you might not get up. It'll show you to get up and then you'll fall right back down. So when you're getting close, just make sure to move your camera up so that you're on top of where you want to go okay very simple and another thing is the sprint button when you get to the top hit the sprint button it gives you that little extra oomph to get over some of these like when i come to the top here and i'm no i actually hit my sprint and then my forward arrow key and it kind of gets me to kind of launch a little bit forward so that's a little tip for you another thing if you're going to approach finger fang rock and you're like, oh man, I'm never gonna make it up that thing. There's a little trick you can do with foundations. Now, obviously, if someone has a foundation in the area and it's build blocked, you can't do it. But if they don't, and you're like, holy crap, I'm not gonna make it up that. Take a foundation, find about halfway, and then put it there. Now, when you climb, you can use the foundation as kind of your resting point, so you don't have to worry about falling. Now, I think I might've been a little overzealous, <laughs> and I think I put it a little high. But, oh, no, we'll make it, we'll make it. All right, here we go. Oh, come on, okay. Oh, crap, oh, crap. Oh, so this leads me to the, my next tip. If you can find a way to wedge yourself into a very specific crack, you actually gain your stamina back and you don't fall. I was gonna show you this in another video, but that actually worked right here. Look at that. I was gonna show it to you sooner. So right there you can see that if I come down, I can't really go anywhere because it's like stuck. So if I let go, I'm kind of not falling. I'm, I'm gaining my stamina back. So pretty cool. If you find these tight wedged in spots, you can actually let go of the wall and jam yourself in here like this. And then you can gain stamina back. Now it just depends. This one isn't a really a good example. Uh, I'll show you another one here in a second. So there you go, using foundations. Um, we talked about camera angles, we talked about foundations, we talked about how to fast fall, we talked about drinking water. Um, so the only really other thing that we can kind of show you guys is how to climb on ceilings. So this foundation actually gives me a pretty good example. And don't hate me, I'm going to cheat, I'm going to throw on some of these just for demonstration purposes so I can climb higher. Okay. So now, as you can see right here, I'm going to pretend this is a ceiling and I'm using my forward movement key. As Soon as I get there, it's just gonna start going back, okay? If I stop mid climb, and then I try and hit forward again, it's gonna go the opposite direction. So, as long as you keep hitting your forward movement key, you will continue to climb up. As soon as you stop, and then you hit your forward movement key, if you're on a ceiling, you will now climb backwards. So, super important that as soon as you get here, if you do stop, instead of hitting your forward arrow key again, hit your back arrow key and you will continue going the direction you chose. So just keep that in mind. A lot of people like to put ceilings so that you get kind of confused on the up and down and your camera angle and the whole thing. That is another thing I will tell you. Don't touch your mouse when you're climbing. If you're climbing on a ceiling, don't mess with your camera. It's gonna totally change the direction of what you're climbing. So like, if you notice, when I climb and I get to the ceiling part, technically it's a foundation, and I start this, I don't touch my mouse and I'm just holding my forward arrow key, okay? If I get to it, let's get back here, and I start moving my mouse, so like I get here and I'm like, sweet, and then I move my mouse like this, then it changes my direction, see? It gets stupid because of my mouse direction. So. When you're climbing on ceilings and making the transition, do not touch your mouse. So there's another good tip for you. All right, so let me show you this one place that I, I did want to show you the whole wedging yourself in. I wanted to use that place as a demonstration. 
but it didn't work out. So let me show you a, a better a better location to demonstrate this for y'all, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And then after this, we will show you the anti-climbing. Hopefully this video has been helpful for y'all this far. If it has, make sure to leave me a comment, a like, sub to the channel for all my Conan Exile guides as well as guides on other videos. And here we are. So you're here, you're going up to finger fang, finger bang, whatever, rock, okay? And you're like, oh man, come on, get out of there. Right here is a perfect example. So. This is a great wedge that I was talking about. Look how narrow it is. So when I start climbing and my stamina gets down and I'm like, oh man, I'm so going to die. You just kind of work your way towards the crevice here. And once you get in, hit sprint and let go. Now you're stuck. So your stamina goes back up. You're not falling. And now you can just re-grab on and continue moving on. So... When you plan, when you're gonna climb, try and plan your climb. Like, look where you're gonna go and pick where you're gonna actually take your breaks, just like you would if you were really climbing. And then the last thing I will say is don't move side to side. It totally kills your stamina moving side to side. So pick a path that is straight up and down. Don't have to go side to side. It really hurts how high you can climb if you try and go side to side. Yeah. All right. So that's pretty much all the tips I had on climbing and what to do. So let's get back down to our base for the final part of the video, and that's the anti-climb. So what can we do to prevent people from climbing up on our base? There are several things you can do. One that really works out very well is thralls. Give them throwing axes, give them javelins, give them bows, give them something where they can shoot somebody or do damage to them. Because if you take damage while climbing, you fall. Same with animals. You know, if you have a pet that's right nearby, have a pet there to, to attack them so they can't climb up on the wall. So thralls and pets are very helpful because they do damage and they prevent someone from climbing up. Another thing is you'll notice here. So you see how I got some foundations and I got these weird stairs. People do this a lot to prevent people from climbing because you can't climb like this. Like, there's no way you can do this. This is just, like, super weird. You try and get your – it's just – it's a weird thing. You get all stuck, so you can't climb. But because I did four, just two sets of regular foundations, you can climb up in these little cracks here. So not a big deal. But if you build them with triangular foundations, this crack – is not nearly as easy to climb up on. It's actually extremely annoying and a pain in the butt. And so you can use it early game and prevent people from climbing up on your base. So now that I did that, let me just fly up here and show you what I'm talking about. So right here. So you can see I have the regular squares, but then I have these triangles. So it makes the cracks in between the different triangles a little bit smaller. So it makes it very, very, very difficult to climb up. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing you can do low level to prevent people from climbing is to add ceilings and to make the distance very high. Because if they can't take a break, then it makes it very hard to do this type of stuff, right? Another thing you can put a ceiling down. Like a lot of people will throw a down wall facing down right here so that it kind of gets you in this weird willy-nilly position. The whole point is you want to make the climb take up as much time as possible and not have the ability to stop and take a break. Another great idea is to put your tower in the middle of a water, right? So let's find, this is a perfect example, right here. If you put your tower right here, I'll even make a little mark for you. Tower. Tower. Right in the middle of the water there. They have to swim to get to it to climb up on it. Swimming reduces stamina, and until you get out of the water, you can't regain your stamina. So if they get to your tower and start climbing, because you put it in the water, it reduced the amount of stamina just to get to your tower and climb. So another way to reduce the ability to climb up onto your tower. But... The third and final way that everyone uses, especially end game, is to use basically these can't, they, they used to just be crenulated walls, but now you actually use these fences. So as you can see right, hold on, right here. This siege cauldron, you learned it at 35, makes this crenulated wall. These spikes prevent people from climbing up. 
The reason why there's a hole there is this siege cauldron is supposed to go in there because obviously if you pour oil down the wall, it will knock people off. So oil orbs will do it as well. If you see someone trying to climb up your wall, hit them with an oil orb and they will fall down. But why waste an oil orb when you can shoot them with an arrow? The other thing is this fence. So it, you get it at, I believe, one level higher. So right here is 26 and then right here. So you get this master fence maker at 36. This reinforced stone fence will have the same ability that the crenulated walls will. This is a fence, and up on top there is a crenulated wall. You can see the hole. The great part about a fence is you can attach it to the side of a foundation. So if you make a tower, you can put them all along the tower. And you can have three, four, five, six rows of them so that people, if they shoot this one with an explosive arrow, they have to get through three of them before they're ever going to be able to climb up on your base. So... Those are some really good tips on to prevent people from climbing up on your base. The bottom line is, in this day and age, people aren't going to climb on your base. When end game, they're probably just going to hit it with a catapult, hit it with a god, hit it with an explosive arrow, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But early game, and if you have a little base, you can really come up with ways to prevent people from climbing up. I mean, just put stuff in the way. Like, here are these little things... You know, they're annoying, but they prevent some climbing. They make it weird. Look, they have this weird thing. I'm kind of stuck. They're just, there's just many things you can put in the way that prevent people from climbing up on your base. Just make the distance as far as you possibly can by putting in walls and ceilings and no places to stop. Put crap in the way that may prevent them from falling off. Use stairs in creative ways to prevent people. And then, of course, the ever-so-friendly crenulated wall. So that's my guide on climbing in Conan Exiles. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, just let me know. Give this a like. Share it with your friends. And then in the description, check it out. We got some links to some other videos um, and all that good stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Van from Vaniverse Gaming with my first part of my Conan Exiles 2.0 series and Van's guides. Cheers. Peace out.